A big day at NASA's JPL in Pasadena. Engineers successfully landed its latest spacecraft on Mars. KCAL 9's Randy Page is live in Pasadena where the reaction was out of this world, oh, yeah. Randy. <laughs> <laughs> that it was, and for good reason. Let me give you an, an example of what this all means. What was accomplished? One of the scientists here said it's like taking a basketball at Staples Center, tossing it all the way to New York, traveling at speeds sometimes in excess of eight times the speed of sound, and landing nothing but net. Watch the decisive moment. 300 meters. These scientists inside the command center at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory spent in some cases decades of their professional lives on this mission and it all came down to the final few seconds. 50 meters, constant velocity. Watch these two communications experts, Sandy Krasner on the right, who spent seven years of his life on this project, and Chris Bruvold on the left, who spent five. Watch Sandy's chin and Chris's eyes in the silent final five seconds. Touchdown confirmed. I was terrified, you know, I mean, um, just every, all the things that could go wrong. And, uh, and we've been practicing this and we've been training and we've been thinking about it. And, it was just, just an amazing experience. In the culmination of all that time and having everything go right and all the work that's gone into it, all the testing, and to know just how precarious it really is and how big of a challenge it is and how the team just made it look so easy. But to watch it unfold like that is just, it's mind bending. Now the real science begins. In the next two or three months, Insight's two powerful instruments will be deployed. A seismometer will measure movement inside the planet and a heat probe will be pounded into the surface to measure fluctuations in temperature. Scientists will be able to understand more about how the planet formed, which can teach us a lot about our planet as well. Insight principal investigator, Bruce Bannard. We can basically use Mars as a time machine to go back and look at what the Earth must have looked like a few tens of millions of years after it formed. And by doing that, we can then look at our, our physical models, our, our theories of how the Earth evolved and understand why the Earth became the way it is. And here is the very first picture from InSight from Mars. This picture came in just a few minutes after it landed. And as they say, it's just the beginning. Live at JPL, I'm Randy Page, Cake Online News. Back to you. That's really exciting. Very cool. Thank yeah. you so much, Randy.